Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder campus tour. Today, we're headed to Ottawa University, nestled in the heart of Ottawa, Kansas. Join us as we take this journey that explores the rich history and picturesque campus of this esteemed institute. The first building we're stopping by is actually the oldest building on campus, and that is the Towie Jones Hall. This building offers a variety of administrative offices, including the Chancellor's Office, Human Resources Department, Finance, Marketing, the Office of University Advancement, and much more. The Copper Dome on top of the building is a distinct feature of this historic building. Ottawa University was founded in 1865 by the American Baptist Home Mission Society. The university's establishment was influenced by the desire to provide education and religious instruction to pioneers and Native Americans in the region. Initially, the institute opened as Roger Williams University, but later changed its name to Ottawa University in honor of the Ottawa tribe. We're walking past BN Hall, which is home to the Information Technology Department, as well as two computer labs on the main floor. Atkinson Hall is home to the Music Department and the Fredrickson Center. The Music Department has practice rooms and a recording studio on the upper floors, as well as faculty offices and a larger classroom on the main floor. In the lower level, the Fredrickson Center, it serves as a variety of faith-based and community <coughs> service ventures. The university grew steadily during the late 19th century, offering a range of programs in arts and sciences, theology, and teacher education. Ottawa University became an important educational institution in Kansas during this time. Ottawa University had a significant connection to the Ottawa Indian tribe with whom it had a close relationship. The university's founders and early leaders worked closely with the Ottawa tribe to provide education and support. The building we see in front of us is the Braves Athletic Performance Center. The Braves are the name of the sports team here at Ottawa University. This building boasts state-of-the-art workout equipment for the sports team. In addition, the athletes work along with strength and conditioning coaches for their workouts to ensure that they're being safe in their training. One of the oldest buildings on campus, the Administration Building, houses a wide variety of student services including the Office of Student Affairs, which includes campus activities and housing, the University Registrar, the Financial Aid Office, Office of Admission, as well as the Office of the President. There are also some faculty offices as well as classroom space on the top and bottom floors of this building. To our right is Fredrickson Chapel, which was built in 1968. This building serves a variety of purposes for the university. It houses rehearsal space for, for a number of music ensembles and is the venue for a variety of events including guest speakers, musical theater, dinner theater, convocation, and commence, commencement.
To our left, we're walking past Ward Science Hall, where there are a number of classrooms and labs for biology, chemistry, and engineering. Martin Hall is a co-ed residence hall. The rooms are set up in multi-size suite style housing and feature a main meeting area as well as bathrooms and a kitchenette space. Ahead of us is the whole Center for Athletics. This building is outfitted with locker rooms for all teams as well as coaching and administration offices for the Braves Athletic Department. In addition, the training room and staff are also located with inside the walls of this building. Next door to Hall is the Wilson Field House. This is home to Braves volleyball, basketball, and wrestling home events. Wilson Field House is one of the most iconic buildings on campus and holds the Andy Carrier Court. Within the lobby, there is a dedication to the Iron Five, a memorial men's basketball team whose impact on the history of Ottawa University is still honored and recognized today. As we continue on, the next building is the Maybe Center, which is uh, also an athletic-related building. It includes two full-size courts that can be set up for basketball, volleyball, and tennis. In addition, there are racquetball courts and multiple batting tunnels, which can be raised and lowered from the ceiling on the north end of the facility for baseball and softball practice. The University Commons is the home for the Braves cheer and dance team where coach offices and teams practice facilities are also located. 
The Braves men and women's wrestling teams also practice in this portion of the facility. Ahead of us, we're coming up to Advent Health Field. This is the home athletic facility for the Braves football, soccer, lacrosse, and track and field teams. Surrounding the artificial turf field is the Bill Bobeck track, which features an eight-lane rubberized surface. In the fall of 2019, a new multi-layer press box was added to the stadium. This facility also houses the Braves Athletic Hall of Fame, which is on the lower level, a VIP space and other entertainment spaces on the second floor. The Gibson Student Center is where you'll find students, faculty, staff, parents, and community members enjoying the delicious food at the Hetrick Bistro. There's also a bookstore as well as classrooms and other meeting spaces inside the building. And very interesting, while I was filming here today, this is actually commencement taking place. These are the graduates headed over to the chapel for their graduation ceremony. They're had, heading out of the Gangwish Library, which is the main library on campus. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Ottawa University and exploring the campus. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Take care now. Bye-bye.